Hi, <clears throat> welcome to my channel, Lee with Love. Um, I'm going to talk about, and this one is spiritual ascension. There's five different forms of spiritual ascension. So, and then this channel, what I do is I get, I get my information is from articles. They are free articles. This is online. This is all free information. Anyone can do it. Anyone can go online. You can go to the website. You can find the same exact information. I created my channel is so that is so I can talk about it because a lot of people don't want to take the time out and go online and Google this and look up that and go on the page they, they don't want to do it so so I, I talk about it like I sit here and I just go through it online with you like this is I didn't read it ahead of time or anything like that like I'm going through it with you so with this one I'm gonna talk about five different forms of spiritual ascension which have you experienced um, and the article I'm using today is called loner wolf uh, it's a five minute read it's not long at all um, I'm gonna put the information in the description box so you can just go into the description tab it and you can go straight into the website the link and you can see the article for yourself so this because <laughs> it talks about books and stuff like that but what is spiritual ascension? Spiritual ascension or spiritual awakening, right? Is one of the major, many major topics out, out there which can become confusing very quickly because everyone seems to have a different understanding of what spiritual ascension means. The information out there doesn't help. It can make you quite disoriented, confused, in a short amount of time like you just you don't know what to do you don't know what's next but personally in the article believes that almost all definitions of spiritual ascension are right because it is a multi-layered concept and experience that cannot be shoved into a box that easily that being said it does it does help to categorize and label different acts aspects of spiritual ascension so that we can understand them for the better that that is the intention of this article the loner wolf article it is it's going to be in the description box what they're going to share below is their own experiences and their own insight and observation of my, of themselves and other people you are welcome to redefine or add to this however you see fit in the comments you can do that when you go into the description box and you go to the actual page and you can leave a comment there if you have a question for me I'm just sharing information it's free information <laughs> it's free if you want to ask me something you can leave it in the comments as well but I'll go into what is spiritual ascension spiritual ascension also known as spiritual awaken is a natural evolutionary process which involves the process of shedding the old self and experiencing an inner rebirth that's like the rising of the phoenix like you just the old old you dies and a new one is born like you, you change you're different you're not the same person you was years ago Many people speak about the spiritual ascension as in terms of being upgraded, rebooted, or being elevated in vibrational frequency because your vibration does get higher once you, once you wake up, once you ascend, your vibration does get higher. All of these terms are a way of referring to the inner evolution and expansion of the mind, heart, and, or soul. As the name implies, spiritual ascension is about reaching new heights and transcending old limiting beliefs, mindsets, and ways of being. Spiritual ascension, however, is not all angels, unicorn. Like it's not. It's not. It's not a walk in the park. Like it's not easy trying to sort everything out and figure out what to do, protecting yourself. It can come. It can. <laughs> accompanied by severe shocking shifts that result in what we all everyone calls the dark night of the soul that's like the darkest part of the process of everything it's like going through 
spiritual warfare is going through the the things that you need to change about yourself the things that you see in yourself and you have to acknowledge it because a lot of times we go through life and we don't want to we don't want to change like you don't want to grow you don't want to heal you don't want to evolve so then you keep repeating the same patterns and it takes going through the dark night of the soul for you to realize that you need to change and you need to wake up and <laughs> something has got to give, you know? So five types of spiritual ascension. Spiritual ascension or spiritual awakening is mentioned in a lot of spiritual articles. Everyone has a slightly different definition, but every interpretation can more or less fit into the following five categories. The first one, so I will pro I'm gonna probably tab it in the description box um, with the timestamps. So the first one is awakening of the mind. This type of awakening comes when you experience a major epiphany or a sudden mental realization. This deep understanding does not necessarily translate to integrated experience. But it does feel like an astonishing flash or enlightened perspective that can help you mentally understand life. How do you know if you have experienced that? An awakening of the mind. Like it's just something like you know. Like you know something didn't change. And it's hard to put it in words. But have you ever experienced a sudden click? You just things just click in your mind where a piece of information word synchronicity falls into a larger puzzle this is called a mental awakening and often such realizations stay with us motivating and inspiring profound changes in our lives so it's what was that the first one was awakening of the mind so it's like a click it's something that makes thing changes things change and things start to happen and you want to start changing things for yourself or for your life you know so we're going to go into number two the awakening of a new personality wow the mental awakenings are are consistent are consistent and go deep enough over a period of time they can result in the development of a new personality this type of transformation and ascension involves cutting away and moving past old limiting and toxic patterns and developing qualities such as self-acceptance empowerment and understanding while this type of awakening isn't as deep as a soul awakening it's still vital for your spiritual growth that's awakening to a new personality like sometimes you just wake up and you're like i don't want to drink anymore and you drink every day you've been drinking every day for the past 10 years every day you drink and then one day you just wake up and you're like, I don't want to drink anymore. I'm not going to buy alcohol anymore. And you stop drinking. Some people do that with smoking. They just like, they just stop cold turkey. And they're like, you know, they want to accept themselves, developing their qualities. And then they stop limiting and toxic, toxic patterns. Like they just cut it away, cut it out of their life completely. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, how to know if you have experienced one to so think back to the kind of person you were one to three years ago are you still pretty much the same person or have you made some major life enhancing positive shifts if you think you've changed in a good way you're likely experienced a personality awakening this type of awakening is called when previously repressed ignored or shunned parts of the personality have been integrated to create more, more wholeness. Like you feel better about yourself. I would, I would say, put that in reference to smoking because smoking, drinking, like some people just stop cold turkey and it's like, how can you just stop doing something you've been doing for the past 10, 15 years or just stop? So this one, number three, is a spirit awakening of the spiritual energy. That's different. Spiritual ascension can sometimes refer to awakening spiritual energy within the body and energy field. When, when life force energy, commonly referred to as aski 
Barra or Kula, Kulalini energy. Kundalini is Kundalini. I was, I was struggling with that word, Kundalini. You've heard the Kundalini awakening. They talk about that like everywhere. Kundalini awakening and that's like the biggest awakening that could happen is all this energy it could be sexual energy but your solar plexus it, you have to know your chakras <laughs> you have to know the placements your crown your throat your everything I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video for that one so ask ask key the piranha or kundalini energy is awakened when these are awakened, major, major changes can occur to the physical through the spiritual levels. Ancient practices such as Tai Chi, yoga, meditation, and Tantra help, help to awaken this energy. So I would say meditation does work because they have a lot of meditation on YouTube. You can just meditate, practice your breathing, and it'll help. Like you can evolve with this like it does help it helps to awaken this energy but sometimes life force energy awakens spontaneously it's like all of a sudden like you you know you don't know when it's gonna happen it just happens this sudden activation is called kundalini awakening which enters the realms of the soul and total awakening see the next two types so the kundalini awakening is like the biggest awake awakening how to know if you have experienced <clears throat> a spiritual energy, spiritual awakening. An awakening of spiritual energy can feel all the way to extreme. And when I say extreme, I mean intensely overwhelming and often too much to bear. Like you, you can get scared, but don't get scared. It would be good to have a partner that can help, that can be there <laughs> to help you with this. But common signs of an awakening of spiritual energy involve feelings of enhanced vitality and energy on the physical level. Energy rushes, tingling, and electrical feelings throughout the body. That's crazy. Changes in the sexual libido. Libido. That's the sexual energy. Like, it heightens. It's incredible. The kundalini awakening is like, it's incredible. It's sharpened awareness and feelings of com cosmic energy interconnectedness negative symptoms can also arise for the uninitiated such as mood swings mania physical hypersensitivity insomnia seizures loss of appetite or overeating extreme and scary altered states of consciousness oh my god like that's like, that's crazy so i would say you should have a partner like i hope you have a partner when the time comes your kundalini awakening I would like for my partner to be there to help me to be there with me so we can experience this awakening together because to have all this sexual <laughs> libido all this energy and it's the cosmic interconnectedness like this is a big deal so it would be awesome to share that with your partner with who you want to be with wow that was awakening of spiritual energy that was intense. But now we're going to go into number four. Awakening of the soul. So, soul awakenings can be brief and sudden or long and drown out. Drown out. Brief soul awakenings are often referred to Zen and Buddhism. That's why yoga is so, people are so into yoga now. Like so Yoga is everywhere. There was a point in time yoga was everywhere. All the people were doing it. And we couldn't get it. Like, why are they doing yoga? Like, why are they wanting to be in Zen and in peace? And this is why. It's because they want to be awakened. And then it's like people awaken and then they don't tell anybody. They don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. They keep it to themselves because everybody's into the 3D world, into the materialistic world, the money, cars, hoes. <laughs> And that's it. Like, they don't think about the spiritual side of life and how it's benefiting your life or how it's going to make your life better. Being awakened, like, just wake up. Like, it, it's a big deal if you wake up. Like, artists, singers, performers, like, a lot of people are 
into spirituality. They just don't talk about it because that's not what's popular. What's popular is money, cars, clothes, jewelry, you know, going to the bar, clubs. Like, you know, that's what's that's what's that's what people want. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm talking too much. Awakening of the soul. Soul awakenings can be brief and sudden or long and drawn out. Brief soul awakenings are often referred to Zen and Buddhism as Satori, which is Satori, wow, which is an experience of seeing into one's true external nature. That's seen beyond the 3D. This glimpse of enlightenment is often short and doesn't last very long. One moment to a few days. On the other hand, long-term soul awakenings are experienced as a deepening of contact with one's soul. This could involve consistently uniting with one's soul purpose, your spirit guides, or higher self, and thereby understanding the beginning to experience oneself as external and limitless. That's amazing. That's when you awaken, and then you awaken spiritually. You awaken... You awaken spiritually, you awaken your soul, like you go within. How to know if you have experienced this? Have you ever had a moment in which you felt the division between yourself and the world disintegrate? Have you ever shifted from the ego perspective to the universal perspective? Have you ever experienced any moments where you felt deeply aligned with your life purpose? These are all signs of a soul awakening. Developing virtuous qualities such as compassion, tolerance, forgiveness, and unconditional love are also a company of soul awakenings. Wow. Okay. And then we'll go into five. Five is the last one. That one is called Total Awakening Enlightenment. Okay. So that's enlightenment or total ego death. Like your ego has to die. Like you, you want to think you're this big macho man or, you know, you're this diva and everyone has to bow down. No, (laughs) that's not how it goes. Like your ego has to die. It's a rare experience in which the self dissolves and all that remains is unity with all. This state is called by many names, oneness. This is part of the the universal laws also. It is the law of oneness, divine oneness. Moksha, non-dual awareness, Buddhahood, illumination, and so forth. Such an intense state of being can arise spontaneously as through years. This could take years of spiritual study and discipline. But in both instances, total awakening is a gift of grace. It isn't something that we can achieve in the normal sense of the word. When an enlightenment occurs, there is an experience of being both nothing and everything all at once. It is a state that transcends thought and the mind itself. It is a mystical awakening. The ego is finally seen, understood, and overcome. And all that remains is the pure awareness, presence, love, and truth. As we see, spiritual ascension comes in many different shapes and sizes with the ultimate form of ascension accumulating as total awakening. That's self-realization. That's when you realize yourself. You realize your ego, what you was doing. What have you been doing? The ego has to die. The ego has to die for you to be aware of everything, for you to have love, be loving, caring, giving. This is part of being woke. (laughs) You know, people don't know. They say, I'm woke, I'm woke, but they're not woke. Many people get confused on the spiritual path. So I hope this article helped to provide more clarity and mental awakening. So it did help a little bit with the clarity. I'm going to include the timestamps because it was broken down into four parts. To four parts of the video. So thank you for listening. I wanted to include the video because I talk so much about spirituality and the (laughs) black magic and 
it's just things. I just want people to be aware. I want to spread the knowledge. The knowledge is free. You don't have to pay for anything. It is free. It is online. I just want you to watch. <laughs> Listen. If you like it, you can click on the description tab. You can read the article for yourself and you can see. You can sign up for stuff. You can look into it more on your own if you're interested in awakening, you know, because it's a big deal. Everybody wants to awaken. You want to grow, heal, evolve. You want to be a better human being. I'm rambling. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Leave with love. And I'll make another video later. Bye.